Good morning, modern steaders. It was raining cats and dogs last night. I checked to see what the rain gauge says. It says we got an inch and a half of rain last night. It didn't stop till about 8.30 last night. Whew, it was coming down hard. That means our rainwater buckets got filled up last night. You pigs gonna be able to make some mud today or what, huh? Good morning. Oh my goodness, look at all the water in their bucket from last night. Is that good or what? We'll see how you like that. We'll give you some cereal. Oh man. There we go. They are some noisy eaters. Got the boys in their new fenced in area. Oh, right here this morning, we'll let them out. I hear him coming. Morning. All is right guys, I got the batch of my free range coffee in the mail yesterday, Whew. I was out of it for like a week. It's not fun when you're missing out on one of your favorite things. Willow, you were doing so good, your milk production was up. Now it's back down, what's going on girl? Huh? Is that you, Buttercup? Ah, you were holding back some of your milk on me, eh? Look at all that beautiful foliage. One of the nice things about the new automatic chicken door is the mornings like this morning where I'm a little sluggish because I got a cold. The door lets the chickens out at the same time. Keeps them happy. I do want to check and see how full the rain barrel is now. Looks like it's weeping out. Right there it's full. When I checked it yesterday before it rained, it was almost empty. Good morning, Figaro. That's the new favorite hangout spot, is that little rock pile. Today we're going to work on sheathing our milking room. We need to get it all boarded up so Willow will eat our foam. It's supposed to rain out today, so make a great rainy day project. I did mess up. I didn't think about trimming out the window. So I don't have more of a nailer here or here. So we're gonna have to trim out our foam um, here and back here a little bit so we can get a two by four going this way, screwed here. It's not the end of the world. It's just, it would have been easier if I would have done it beforehand. Okay. 
had a lot of people asking if the foam smells. Now, it doesn't smell. It had a little bit of an odor for the first day or so while it was curing and drying. Clean it up really good. Yep, that works. I like it. All right, that'll solve that problem. All right, let's get a measurement here. We're going to be 48 and 3 eighths. That will work. at 24 and a half. Plenty of room to nail. All right, let's get a couple of measurements. Want to do the ceiling first? I just want to make sure that we can cut them all the same. Fifteen, and we'll try it in a few spots. Let's see how it works. Take down our tape. So, just trying to figure out which way we want to have the ship lap. On the ceiling, it's going this way. And then we want to have it going up and down. I thought we talked about sideways. Sideways. Because mm -hmm. up and down kind of look cool too with the gap. Or we can go sideways. Well, you have this up and down. Right, this is up and down. So it kind of matches that if we did it up and down. Um, you can think about it because we're going to start with the ceiling I first. Have to see stuff. All right, let's test fit this one in a couple of areas and see if we can cut them all the same. So that works there. Let's see how much of a gap we have. We don't mind having some gap. That's not bad. Right, let's see if it fits in the middle. It 
does. And then let's see if it fits up high. Watch out for a minute. If it does, I can rip them all the same. Liquid nails so we can glue it too. And we got our finished nail gun. It's a finished nail gun. So it's just gonna shoot up tiny little nails, you won't see them. <laughs> Alright. My hands I'm curious how it's gonna make the milking room feel. Probably smaller, I think. I'll give you one spacer to put on your end. <coughs> I'm gonna give me one spacer. Watch your head. I don't want to take you out. All right, want to put in your spacer? Push down the board for me a little bit. Okay, right there's good. Oops. Once we get the sailing done, it'll be fairly easy. It's just working over your head, huh? Yeah, and that and we're working in tight quarters too. You did the whole house by yourself like that. <sighs> I know. Out of your right? mind? I was. I was out of my mind. No, I said you put that out of your mind. No, I did. I just did. Not it. That you were out of your mind. I just did. Okay. <laughs> three more boards.
All right, if you want to come over here. I hope I got the other um, If I don't, you'll be the first to know. Oh my god. 71. Yeah, 71. Five. It's almost done. It's almost done. You know what? I might hold off on this piece. And we'll use we'll see what we have for leftovers instead of cutting a good board right now because right. we only need a five inch wide piece right so we'll only, wait only makes sense we can go either way or we can make these all go sideways ship lap is supposed to go let's do it all sideways all this way that'll be fine yeah that'll be fine if you put a shelf it'll be right or however however let's do it let's do it How's our house? Sideways or Our house is sideways. Um, Let's get this first one and make sure we are level. And we are. Okay. Looking good, I like it. Are you good enough? I'm good. good. Looking good. Let's jump over to this wall now. There we go. She said I better hurry up because she's going to go check out the milking room before us.
boys like your new area? I'd say yes. What am I looking at? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're silly. So then in here, in here you're going to do like this, kind of like the same thing, so you're going to leave out the beams. Well, and then in there, instead of going this way, it's going to go this way. Burr, it's a lot warmer in here. What are you doing? You hanging out inside? You should come out. Go play in the pasture. Like, no way, it's too cold. Oh. I think I have coat on. They'll come out, I bet you, when we, they hear us in the chicken. Hey, Hope. They're like, oh, Tanner. Hope's like, yeah. Yeah, You gotta meet us over in the chicken area there, Hope. I'm gonna go get some grain. We'll meet you over there. <laughs> Told you the goats would come. Okay, take your guesses. I'm gonna say 18. Really? Yeah. It's quite a few. Yeah. Ouch. Now I'm thinking 19. No, you can't change them. Yes, I can. Two. Yeah, you can't change them. Four. Six. Eight. Who do we appreciate? Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Dad's right. Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I was right. I was right. I win. You win eighteen eggs. No, you win eighteen eggs. No, 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 no. You win eighteen eggs. What are you doing, girl? You think Little Pea is the softest? She's pretty soft. Oh, I didn't forget about you, Hope. They're all pretty soft. They are all super soft. Like he used to be really soft. I don't think he's as soft now. He's soft. They're all super friendly now. I didn't see you back there, Little Pea. Give him a little head bump. Give him a little wackadoo. Do you like that rock? They do, they love all the rocks. We might not like the rocks, but they love them. I wish there was a way we could have fenced in the rock wall for them. But we can't. I know. I get on the rock. Oh. 
Oh, it's so much fun seeing all the goats out on pasture and how much they're loving it. All of the goats have become so much more friendlier now since they've been out there. I know we had a lot of viewers afraid that the goats would become less friendly and it would be hard for us to see them and get to them. But now, anytime we're out there, they come right up to us. And even in the barn, they're a lot more friendly, which is nice to see. We figured we better hurry up and get the milking room all inside, all sided before Willow ate too much more of that foam. I don't know why a goat would want to eat foam when you got nice organic grain in front of you. Who knows, but I'm excited to see what the milking room looks like when it's all done. I got a little trick up my sleeve for doing the trim work. It's gonna be fancy dancy trim, but we're just gonna be using two by four, so it's gonna be dirt cheap, but it's gonna look high class. So be looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to tackling that one so thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video